took four months after liftoff for the Characterizing Exoplanet Satellite, or CHAOPS for short, to successfully complete its in-orbit testing phase. Now it begins a three-year mission to study planets in other solar systems. Mission scientist David Ehrenreich. We don't want to discover more planets with CHAOPS. Instead, we want to learn more about the planets that we discovered in the past. Aaron Reich says the mission aims to find out if any of the 4,000 exoplanets, those beyond our own solar system, are Earth-like and capable of sustaining life. In other developments, two astronauts and a cosmonaut last week waved goodbye to fellow crew members aboard the International Space Station. And we have undocking of the Soyuz MS-15 spacecraft at 8.53 and 30 seconds p.m. Central Time. After spending months in space, the crew returned to a world far different than the one they left because of the coronavirus pandemic. Also, they'll have to cope with the after effects of living in zero gravity for so long. Even though they're extremely healthy, they've been exercising these six months on orbit, their, their balance, their vestibular system is messed up, so they, don't, they typically don't let them walk for a while. That is, is pretty normal, uh, what we do for all our crews, because their immune system is... Uh, is depressed as a result of their space flight. NASA scientists this week completed a collaborative project mapping the definitive blueprint of the lunar surface, which could launch a moon landing by 2024. Arash Arabasadi, VOA News, Washington. <laughs>